Hi, welcome to another Launchbox tutorial. Hope you're all well and been enjoying your Launchbox and Big Box uh, like I have. Uh, right, further ado, let's get on with the uh, with the install. What this is about is PlayStation Network games installing them into your Launchbox. You will know when you've got a PlayStation Network game because it will come up with something like that or that. Uh, you can see many others in probably in my PlayStation area of my launch box, big box, but they will say PSN above them as well. Obviously the different styles they did. So let's go on with it. First of all, what you need to do is once you've downloaded your so-called PSN uh, ROM, all you'll do is extract it and you'll end up with these three folders just there. What you need to do, once you've got your emulator open on its own, your RPCS3, make sure it's up to date, which you can do via the help. Check for updates. Once you've done that, you're laughing. First thing to do, click on Install Packages. So once you're in there, click on the full game first. That must be the first one to install. Second, you click on the crack. And then... Finally, you click on the crack 4.21. These are PKG files. So do them in that order. First, second, third. Once you've installed them into your game, sorry, into your emulator, it will come up like so. Uh, you can obviously check for patches with the right click there and check for patches, etc. Uh, mess around with any, any configurations that you need to. Uh, check game database compatibility there, it's up to date. Then what you need to do next is move on to your launch box once you've got it installed. But the thing you're going to be looking for is that number, name and letters and numbers there. So when you come to your launch box, open it up with the importer, ROM files, same way you do a PlayStation 3 game. But remember you're installing this now from the hard drive. Uh, so what you need to look for is that number there which I've got it highlighted I think yeah there so it recognizes obviously I've got a new install so click the go into the eboot so into the folder so where you go in is dev hdd0 and then the folder called game and in there you'll see that folder npeb00849 uh, once you're in that folder, go to user directory and find the eboot there. Once you've got that, click open, then click next. Should automatically collect this for you. Leave it where they are and keep going with the next. Next. There you go, it's found it. House of Dead 3. Click next. Let it do its thing on launch box the new install is great it works a little bit better it already recognizes the playstation eboot roms now so great job guys well done a good update uh just could do a bit more on big box uh right so we should see it there you go house of the dead now we'll close the emulator down and we'll see if we can get this rolling so double click if i did or didn't there we go, and you'll see it work. Once it's loaded up, there you go, it's all running. All running, you're seeing it working there. Close that down, don't need that anymore. So it's in there now, and that's pretty much everything done. Right. And then you can dispose of that if you like. Yeah, so that's your House of the Dead game installed. For another video, take care, have fun, and enjoy. Bye for now.